Their first test is upon them. While the attack on the Dust Bandit King was certainly a test of Rust Hilt's leadership and Silvershade's skills, moving in on the Holy Nation is something incomparable. Trained military versus well armored survivors, the difference is tangible in Rust Hilt's worries. Each night they spend healing, he consults with Kang and Ruka. While using Silvershade against the Dust Bandits was ideal, the Holy Nation are another beast entirely, their defenses more strategically placed and prepared for silent strikes like Silvershades. Slowly a plan takes place by candlelight, and as the sun rises to greet them on the day of the assault, for the first time, Rust Tilt can taste vengeance on his tongue. After some well-deserved rest and relaxation in the tower that they captured in a mere day, Rust Hilt and crew are ready to move on. Welcome back to Kenshi, everybody. Yes, everybody is healed up, and our journey towards the Holy Mines, not too far from here, is almost complete in our first true siege of the place, and our first true test against the Holy Nation is upon us, which is exciting for for me and nerve wracking also for me because uh, I don't know how this is gonna go. Our, the Holy Nation feel as though that they're always well equipped and well armed and fighting them feels like a big, big test of our skill. And we could very much like we first attempt to take on the Dust Bandits fall flat on our face. Now granted, we're approaching this much better equipped, geared and trained than we ever were. Um, but still, things are not exactly uh, guaranteed in this world by any stretch of the imagination. But regardless, I'm still pretty thrilled. Our dear boy Zija is still uh, unfortunately crippled and sitting in bed, but his hunger is not going down, so I'm okay to leave him for now and kind of count him as a temporary loss. Uh, this pack beast is taking a while, but he should make his way there at some point. The mines themselves, I'm genuinely not sure what Rust Tilt can expect, not in terms of resistance, but more in terms, are we being attacked by somebody? What the heck are those? Escape servants, it's, that's fine. Um, yeah, but I'm not really sure what to expect in terms of reward if there's really any. Uh, not that Rust Hilt needs a reward at all. He does not care really much about it. This is his first real attempt uh, or first real proper military strike against those who killed his family, uh, those who took his parents out. So this means a lot to him and he's definitely gonna be nervous uh, approaching. And if he gets beat down, um, the f I can only imagine the flames that feed his hatred of the Holy Nation will only grow hotter. But we seem to be making good progress so far. And it looks like we can start seeing uh, the actual notifications of the mines, or of the mine rather, right around the corner here. The Bone Dog and the Pack Beast are getting a little bit lost, but let's speed things up a little bit. I just want to see if we can get a good view. Uh, nope, maybe not. We're right here. Somebody else is eating bread over there. Um, okay, taking a quick look. The, the guards are exceptionally well trained. Their defenses are 35, attack is 27. Now granted, we are genuinely better than that, but not by much. Um, so let's stop. We're just below the lip of, of uh, the actual mine. Let's set up a cross right across the area where we can send in uh, scouts and strikes from where hopefully they won't bother us too, too much. Okay. So first things first, camp. I really like this mercenary tent, honestly. It's really cool. So let's get that set up. And obviously we can get a campfire going. Everything's relatively well set up. Let's kind of spread out a bit here. You don't want to stay too clumped. Guard dog staying up front. I wish we could have taken down uh, some of those sleeping bags and taken them with us, but... No such luck. All right, Silvershade is gonna be our go-to uh, 
scout. It's daytime, so he's going to have a bit more of a difficult time, and we're immediately under... That is an insane amount of hungry bandits. An absolutely insane amount of them. Wild bulls that are roaming. I... That's got to be like two or three groups combined. Also, let us not yearn for the pleasures of the flesh. I imagine they're shouting. He's saluting. And it's a slaver laughing. Bloody work shy. That's what you are. More slaves. Maybe they're selling slaves. I'm curious. Work is life. That's what the slavers are saying anyway. Get to work. But now... Get to sodding work. Let's see what happens when these hungry slaves show up. Work without prayer. Pray, pray to Lord Ocran. Pray to the Lord Ocran. Bless Ocran for giving me the second chance. Even the slaves are... Saying, get to damn work. Everyone's just shouting. And these hungry slaves, or these hungry bandits, aren't doing anything. Bless the Lord of Light. Alright. Interesting. Well... Let's slow things down. We have a building over here that we can s possibly slip into and see what's happening. Naruto, the silver shade Naruto over here. With how fast he runs. A lot of wheat straw, flowers. <sighs> Knock him out. Okay, I, I don't... <laughs> I did not... I did not mean to uh, start picking a lock with somebody in there. Uh, this was a panic knockout Silver Shades bringing back. This was not what he meant to grab <laughs> initially. I just wanted to loot them and see what they had, but that's all right. We're going to run them back. They'll never notice. They're blind. The storms help cover us for sure. All right, let's actually drop him. And I'm, this actually is going to be good for us because we're going to be able to see what they carry. Combat cleavers and shoddy grade holy flame stuff. We could try and disguise ourselves and get in there, but there's not much I care about here. Actually, I'll take the weapon because we're going to end up fighting him when he wakes up. One less to worry about. S upon seeing him uh, return to the camp, Rustilt would immediately say that the minute he rouses, you wait, and you kill him. Let him see our faces before he dies. Up he is. There we go. We're just. I'm going to put the pack beast back on passive, by the way. I don't want the pack beast getting involved. Cut through this darkness with Ocran's light as our sword. Yeah, I don't know if that's how it's going to work out. Unf no, 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 no. I didn't mean for you to knock him out. Did he get knocked out, or did he die? He just got... Not, uh, he got slashed. And Rustilt stands over his corpse like a protective uh, predator. Makes sense. Let's speed it up. Slow it down. Now we can start looking through their stuff. Get an idea if there's anything worth taking here. Weird that they want to store things outside the walls where they can be defending them, but... Good for us. Yes, we absolutely want the books. The fuel, not so much right now. The string of cats will take. Money is money. More cats. More books. Nothing in their weapon cabinets. All right, let's actually go ahead and, gra and pick this lock now. Okay. A blueprint for advanced outpost blueprints. Advanced outpost. Large and medium building shells. Well, I think we already can do this, but let's let's right click it anyway. All right, maybe we didn't. That actually immediately was valuable. Everything else, at least in the moment, not so much. I was hoping for food, but oh well. They're still shouting at their slaves. I'm more interested about their interior defenses. Though I don't know if I could bonk these guys on the face and uh, they can still kind of see us. It's just the daytime mostly. 
they can still see me. Get inside here. Nope, still can be seen. Well, why don't we try and kidnap the one that's on patrol back? Is it a leader? He's he's a high percentage. He's a paladin. Well then. Let's see what happens. Failed. Alarm raised. Um, don't sneak, just run. Silver shade. Just run. Far away where they do not know where you are. Where you can dissipate into nothing by just uh, clicking stealth. A little bit of an unfortunate uh, gamble there, but I figured it'd at least be worth it. Didn't think you'd be able to get a big hit like that on me. Go that way. We've loop around the mountainside where they can't see us. And we can work our way back. Yeah, this is going to be a lot, a lot tougher. Now Silvershade has a bounty on his head, but it shouldn't be that big a deal. I don't know if, you know, let's wait until nighttime. Because I just don't know if my normal uh, way of doing things is actually going to work out here. And we're really far away from being able to grab any, uh, anything else. Also, hell yeah, if we go over this dead. It's awesome. All right, let's let day pass. It's got, a, we got a long way to go. And in the meantime, I, I think I'm going to run somebody to grab some sleeping bags and run them back. So hang tight. Well, we grabbed some sleeping bags and squin. We're heading back really quickly. Uh, but before we do, uh, we found a couple more maps that were being sold that I hadn't seen yet. But before we look at that, we can't help but watch Silvershade use his new weapon. Oh, this weapon has great stats and oh, it's gonna look so good. Just him being the ninja that he is going in on these people. Oof, don't don't leave your back open, Silvershade. You should know better than that. Oh, <laughs> oh, he's just he's so good now. He still has a lot of work to do. If he's still getting hit by starving bandits, Silvershade still has a lot of practice. Defensively, at least, which is why we want to take some prisoners. Okay, well. Took all our food that I had there. Good job, Silver Shade. Or should I say Mike, perhaps. All right, you can get up. If they come back, you can kill them. In fact, be vengeful. Go kill that one. Those who dared think you were worth killing, uh, they'll pay. Anyway, enough being petty. Let's continue on. Oh, I forgot to look at where on the map the new things were. Rawr! Dang it. Dang it, because once you open it and then you close it again, it stops. All right. We made it back in one piece and after nightfall. We have a few hours of nighttime left, which is not all that much, but enough maybe to kidnap one or two guards. I think what we're going to do first, however, is set up three sleeping bag areas. Good. Now we can have actually some rest and we can actually properly begin to siege this place slowly. Uh, but first things first, let's start knocking out some guards if we can. I don't know how bad the defenses are here, or how good they are, how bad for us they end up being, rather. There is some crossbows, it seems. But I gotta somehow get behind them, and I don't know if I'm gonna have the ability to do so. The guards are very awkwardly pl uh, placed at the front here. All right, let's see what we can do. It's still nighttime. We still have the cover of weird daylight. We can get behind. And we can maybe thunk one. There we go. Down it goes. And we might be able to thunk both. Nope. We're going to kidnap you. And we're going to run for our lives. Run! Oh no. Uh oh. 
The gr oh man. We might have to make an assault. We're gonna get thrown into prison. And they are going to loot us completely. They're gonna heal us first. One, two, three. Well, this is one way to get a scout off, but... When Rust Hill realizes they're not coming back... He's not coming back. He's been enslaved. Oh... No. You'll be free from possessions, free of a name. You'll be cleansed of your dark nature to serve a higher cause. I don't like this. Atone for your sins. Work hard for Akram's crusade. And now, he's slumped, conscious, and you'll be shown mercy. Only heretics disobey their masters. Only heretics defy Akron's will. Try to escape, and you'll be purged in flame. Well then, all my stuff, probably in this one here. We might be able to purchase them if we wanted to. But I don't think that's how this is going to go. I think we're going to have to assault them. He can be seen. A slaver is walking in. And suddenly we're in a lot of trouble. Whoop! What's happening? The silver shade getting put to work? This is good for us, because if Silvershade can get out of the eyesight of anybody, um, he'll be able to make work. Uh, he'll be able to break out. Yep, let's go. Run. Run. You are in rebirth now, blackened woman. You cannot seduce the man folk with your womanly charms here. <laughs> Why are you allowed? Why did you allow Silvershade to even to remotely get removed? Like, why did you allow him to leave? Ain't no one here to protect you here, squits. Dust boss. Hopefully they get attacked by the Holy Flame or yeah, the Holy Flame people while we move. The dust boss sees somebody worth maybe murdering. We're an escaped slave, which is a huge problem. How are we going to do this? Ugh, camera, please. We need to break these things off. But we're going to run back to here first. And whoever ends up following us there will end up dying. There's so many of them, though. Oh, it's all dust bandits chasing now. Dust boss and then one holy sentinel. That's fine. We can manage that. I just have to let Silvershade heal. And I, I, I could probably sneak Silvershade in at night. And get his stuff. Well, unfortunate, but our things are still there. We can still get them. It's not the end of the world. Silvershade now has to take off these, though. Unlock the shackles. He's a, an, an, a master ninja. So we actually just, he, they just gave us shackles. <laughs> um, which is great for us. Oh, they left our backpack on us. Which means we can use a weapon. Our stealth right now is still an 83. So I think we're going to have to let Silvershade heal for now. Oof, he is not fast when he doesn't have his clothes. His ninja garb. Toss these on the ground. And we'll have uh, Ruka for now pick up the shackles. For Hive prisoners specifically. I wonder, actually. Could Silvershade disguise himself? The boots aren't a huge deal, I don't think. The shirt might be, actually. We could disguise somebody and send them in. He's 100% disguised as Holy Nation, it says. If we could walk in... Let's see. If we could walk in and get all of our things... This would be awesome. I've never tried the disguise route before. There's only one way to see what happens. Some servants... Hello? 
Walking by, nobody seems to notice. Ooh, they're, they got somebody. Oh, they got a dust bandit. I'm sorry for that, my friend. I'm sorry for that. Whoop, nope, he immediately drew his sword. Time to run. They knew, they noticed. They noticed. Well, let's kite maybe a few of them back then. Pull them away from the safety of their own, their own base. And if Silvershade can't sneak in, then he'll at the very least cause the death of a few of their own. I imagine now that they've turned the corner, they can see this camp. Curious about what potentially lies there. Come on. I'll take at least one of you. The only one who seemed curious enough. Swing that momentum around. Oh, isn't that unfortunate to see so many charging you. To be surrounded by the legendary Rust Bandits. Swinging with a bone dog involving himself. Free food, ideally. And down he goes. We'll take it. We'll take it. This is better than what you were wearing, so you can swap it out. Gives you a leather vest. And hopefully he just ends up dying. He's all bandaged up, though. Maybe from a previous battle. All right. Let's see what a full-on assault looks like. I'm starting to think it might not be that big a deal. Everybody, please relax. Silvershade just doesn't seem to care about rolling at the same speed <laughs> as everybody else. But maybe we can pick them off a little at a time. I just don't know if the slaves will get involved. Yep, here they come. Some of them, are anyway. Woman must be tamed. She must be put to work. Okay, let's back up a little bit. Let's see how many are here. He wants to talk, maybe? Yeah, all right. Everybody attack him. I do not know what he's doing. Rain and fall. Swing on him. The high overseer. Oh, God. The high overseer. Ruka as well. We'll put our best on, our best men on him. The other one, hopefully, will just get bled out very quickly, and then they can separate. I really think the high. O Where are you, Kang? I don't know why you're over here. Silver shades down, but that's not too surprising. It's the high overseer that needs to be dropped as soon as possible. He's just the high overseer of this particular, uh, I think, mine. Come on. Come on, Ruka. Come on, guys. This battle is not going as smoothly as I would have hoped. Alarm raised. I don't know what that's going to do. Bone Dog is just getting in, in there, man. They're now hostile to me? Took them long enough. Is that the High Overseer down? That is. And now there's... Now slaves are trying to escape. Wow, we actually have slaves. Now that they see the combat has turned around, they're trying to escape. Come on. She actually stole a weapon off of the slaver who once held her and is running for her life. Be free. Be free. Well, well earned. Wait, where? Can we all heal each other, please? Everybody medic up. No, back up, back up. Yeah, you're gonna be shot at is the thing. Go, get him. Except for the pack beast. I don't know why I brought the pack beast. I think I just all I grabbed everybody. All right, let's get in there. Attack all, let's go. Perfect, that's what I wanted to see. 
get up here where they have to protect themselves. Don't let them shoot at us. Is Ruka still taunting? She is. I'm hoping that works. Kang and Silvershade now getting back and involved. Should be very careful. Oof, this guy is just getting tag teamed. One, Kang and Silvershade just back and forth, back and forth. Down he goes. Big swing on us? Jesus Christ. All right. Into the prisons. Quickly. Attack all. Silver Shade, I just want you to see if I can find your gear. Good. Drop this nonsense. Put your stuff on. Rightfully so. I don't care if you got caught stealing. Who cares? Now Silvershade can use his weapon and clean house. Alarm raised. I don't see anybody coming to save you, buddy. As he screams, we still plunge our swords and weapons into him and clean house quickly and easily. Rain going tried to save the bone dog, but the bone dog seems to be holding his own relatively well. Let them use their bandages on us. It matters not. I don't know what the alarm being raised does. We got a bandit. Bandit's moving toward us. Here, everybody out here. Start attacking the paladin, who's currently carrying a slave over his shoulder, but he believes himself to be so badass enough that it matters not, and he can fight. That's not how this is going to go, unfortunately. Not for him. Another paladin limps his way this way. We'll take the pack beast off passive. You can shout darkened all you want, but you will be killed in the end. The amount of insane defensive skill these people have blows my mind. Going for the pack beast? That's fine. Be smited wicked skeleton. There's no skeletons here. Let the slaves free themselves. I love that they're attempting to free themselves now. Can somebody first aid Ruka, please? Get her up. Somebody first aid the puppo. And s this dust bandit is just going home. Look it. He's just gonna go home. You know what, man? I'd say do it. Get out of here. And you know what? Fuck it. Get out of here. Hopefully Ruka and all of them wake up soon. We have bounties on our head, but no big deal. I love that they've equipped themselves. That's so cool. Another paladin. No worries, servants. You will not serve these uh, men as slaves any longer. Rust Hilt is freeing you. Not quite sure what the servant is doing. They're following? Are they following us? They are. They're following us. Um, I can't talk to them. But they are, I mean, they're welcome to have this place. If that's what they want. Yeah, it looks like this, this, the slaves don't genuinely have any, any idea what to do. Anybody in here? Well, we're going to loot the hell out of this place. But they're, they're so uh, lost. I don't know what they, what they plan on doing. 
The b bandit demands against your outpost has been defeated. I forgot we were being even attacked by bandits at the outpost. Well, we succeeded, surprisingly. Oh, maybe not. Three more hiding in the jail, waiting for us to leave, perhaps to strike back at the servants who stuck around. Rustilt, having complete confidence in his men and women, is just going to send Silvershade up. Oh no, Silvershade's dead or unconscious. How much longer till he's up? A little bit. We can start picking locks. He's going to free uh, the slaves. You know, we'll unshackle the Dust Bandit for now. And then we can only attack him, so we're going to go and attack him. We freed him to kill him. I'm not even sure what happened. Come back up here. Actually, you know what? Screw it. Leave him shackled. They're dust bandits. We'll leave him with the cage open, but the shackles will still be part of, uh... Part of his whole ensemble. For now, Rustil walks away with a slave, uh, uh an ex-slave... Oh no, never mind. They're bad. He's weirdly unhittable. Either way, we're being followed by lower servants who are now freed, but the mines themselves have been annihilated. Perhaps they're more prepared than Rustilt first thought they were.